What's up? Uh, I don't know. What, what's the, what, why are you here doing this thing? Live streaming on YouTube, man. What? I said we're live streaming on YouTube. Oh, sick. For, for why? Why not? Is the goal to get, like, people to watch? I guess, yeah. What makes it engaging? We have discussions on a bunch of different things. Like what? What do you want to discuss? Intersectional dynamics, politics, you know, whatever. What are yeah, like dating and relationships, yeah. What are your, what are your thoughts on dating oh, and relationships? I think, uh, you know, men lead, women follow, and that's pretty much it. Simple. Exactly what I said. Men lead, women follow. Like, men are supposed to lead in relationships and women are supposed to follow. Interesting. Why yeah. do you think that? Because men are designed to lead and women are designed to follow. It's kind of the way that the system's worked for centuries. And just now that we live in this civilized world that, you know, we go ahead and say, oh, no, women are equal to men, but not really. Yeah, I mean, from a biological standpoint. So you think women say they're equal to men, but they aren't? What was that? They want to, what? You've got to be out the walkway. Oh, okay, that's cool. Right. We'll, we'll move over here. Yeah, so they know. They're biologically, we're biologically different. How, how is your parents doing? Good. They're still together. My dad is the authority and my mom follows. You know, this whole egalitarian thing doesn't work, unfortunately. So, like, your dad... What do you mean by that? Like, your dad... What do you mean by your dad? He's, your... He's the boss. My mom follows. Yeah. Oh, wait. He makes the decisions. Yeah, he's pretty fucking lit, man. Holy. Yeah, he's pretty fucked up. No, no, no. I just think... I'm just surprised what you're... It's pretty standard, man. You go anywhere else in the world, like, a lot of guys think this way. It's just that in, in the United States, where we're, like, you know, super feminized, we tend to think that we're equal when we're not at all. So, men should always be the division. Absolutely. In all things. For most things, yes. Okay. Most and things, for sure. for you to spread this. Yes. You're like, yes. You're, like, the leader or one of the... I mean, I think... Would, like, Andrew Tate be the leader is actually a personal friend of mine. Like, I know him. Um, I'm glad that you know about Andrew Tate. That means that his influence is very strong, which is great. I think the message getting out is important. And who spreads it is irrelevant because the message needs to get out there. But yeah, men need to be men and be leaders. If we continue on the path that, we, that we're going, it's going to lead to bad times. Weak men lead to bad times. Bad times create strong men. Strong men create good times. And right now, we're on this whole thing about we don't know how many genders there are, a bunch of degeneracy, a bunch of stuff was going on, and then bam. Next thing you know, okay, can you name one matriarchy that stood the test of time? I don't think that that's relevant. It absolutely is, because if you can tell me a matriarchy that stood the test of time, then that means that female leadership led to, a, you know, a prosperous civilization. As we've developed technology and other things, that strength of something has become less, less and less relevant. So I, I now think that it, it would be fine for women to be in positions of power. And, and actually, there have been many women in positions of power around the world that have done very good jobs. Can you name one matriarchy then? It's the test of time. Angela Merkel was like probably the most important leader in Europe in recent history. Margaret Thatcher was a really influential leader. And the thing is, now there's guns and stuff, right? So like, if a woman has a gun, she can shoot me. It doesn't matter if I'm stronger or weaker than her. For sure, but I, I would argue that, I mean, cool, but then why are female cops and the women in the military so incompetent then? Why do are women they? get it? They, they are, yes, yes, yes. There's so been, female there's been cops many, and yes. women in the military. Absolutely, I don't, I don't think they should be. I don't think they should be in the military or be in the front lines of a police force at all. They're, they're far more likely to actually get in a, shoot, in a shooting. Uh, are they? Absolutely. Statistically speaking, women are far more likely to get involved in an officer involved shooting. I didn't know that. Because they're physically weaker. So therefore, since they're physically weaker, their use of force continuum is much shorter because they can't necessarily get into a physical confrontation with a male suspect, which a lot of the criminals are going to be male. But that's sort of what I was saying is that the whole thing is like having guns and technology is sort of an equalizer, you know, right? Not necessarily. It's an equalizer to a degree, but here's the thing. They're more likely to use force, which could lead to a fatal, fatal situation, and shoot the end when it wasn't a justified shooting. So your argument right now is that, like, female cops are more likely to use lethal guns force absolutely. because they're physically weaker, yes. therefore women should not ever be in positions of power? Like, no. I don't know. 
yeah, it's just no, like, well, we started I, there. Because I asked you to like, name I, a I female guess, matriarch, and you couldn't guess, do that. So then we got into the topic of I guess I know like female a lot of, police like, officers in the military, and I said, well, I don't think they should be in these positions because X, Y, Z, and I explained why. I a lot of smart, competent women that I think for like, sure could do but that's a, a good minority job at running, but they're minority. I'm not agreeing with you on that point. But even if it were, would it be helpful to the world to be like it's absolutely women minority? And I'll tell you why. Sir, women most women, do most women are communitarian by nature, by, from a biological standpoint. Communitarian. Communitarian by nature. Okay. Which means you get a dollar, you get a dollar, you get a dollar. When little girls play, right, games, they don't play win or loser type games. They play games where... You're saying so, men, like young boys yes, play different games? Yes, they are, boys, right, little boys play games where there's a clear winner. This is absolute... Well, I don't know, maybe it, uh, This is the truth. Like, when boys play video, play games, they play in a hierarchical sense where it's like, okay, there's a winner and, and there's a loser. And you think that's good? Well, that, what that asserts is that there's a dominant hierarchy. Wouldn't it maybe be nice to have, like, a more communal based thing? They don't work. I mean, there's a lot of socialist aspects of our society currently. It, capitalism works. But when you put women in power, they go with more socialist, communistic mindsets on how to run things, and that's a problem. Interesting. Why do you think we have Biden office right now? Females and minorities put them into office. So that's why we have the issues that we have, because they don't base, they don't go off of meritocracy. They go off of and communitarians. And who would even like Biden to not be in office? I don't think he's done a good job as a president. Probably one of the worst presidents we've ever had. I think Trump will do a much better job. I mean, he's a better candidate, clearly, in this situation. We're on the brink of World War III. The dollar is fucking going down. The dollar is going down? Yes, the petrodollar literally has been... So actually, the dollar is like one of the... Yeah. Like yeah, compared to other currencies, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't matter. But look at inflation in the United States. Dollar will be the world reserve currency. As We're going to lose that currency status very soon. And you think that's Biden? Yes. Because he has weak foreign policy. Huh? No, no. Yes, I mean, his vice president is a female. His cabinet is filled with a bunch of libtards. So, yes, they're weak on foreign policy. That's why Russia invaded Ukraine. I mean, it has, I don't know if you realize, it's like a domino effect. If you have weak foreign policy, at least the issue. That women and minorities should not vote, is what you're saying? I never said that. I just said that you're they're more they're likely. The that put him in power. Yes, they're more likely to vote for Democrats in more communitarian type situations. So it's least of problems. Because it's not based on a meritocracy. All right, you out? All right, man. Anyway, you guys can see. Liberals can't back up their, their, their mindsets, or they can't back up their arguments. Yeah, and uh, it's always funny, that whole matriarchy thing, because no one can ever name any time a matriarchy stands the test of time. 